Today in our world, we can change 2D into 3D with the same ease as taking a photo or video. Hello, my name is Ian. I'm a professional 3D capture specialist. These are my tips and tricks to help you get cleaner scans with Scaniverse. The technology to turn 2D into 3D changed recently, thanks to these smudged banana shapes called Gaussian splats. These work the same way as pixels do in 2D images when you put millions of them together. Gaussian splats accurately capture how light scatters and reflects in the real world. All that's needed to capture 3D effectively with them is to cover an object with enough angles from all directions. I'd like to share a few of my scanning tips and tricks to help you get cleaner scans too. I like to attach a wrist loop like this to protect my device and the things that I scan. Staying safe is vital before beginning to scan, especially in public spaces. This type of selfie stick with an adjustable vertical holder and Bluetooth remote are practical for covering most medium to large sized objects. If people or traffic arrive when I'm scanning a scene, I will point my phone to details higher up until they have passed. There's also a pause button on Scaniverse, but make sure to unpause from roughly where you stopped. If you do get caught out by something moving, you'll find that most of the time they don't show up after processing. When scanning medium sized objects, you require at least three loops. I find larger objects require four or five. I begin most of my scans with the device pointed straight at the object around waist height. I cover the next loops around the top and underneath with an angle of between 30 to 45 degrees. The app displays preview details after a few seconds, allowing you to see what you're doing. It's important to be thorough and slow to capture details evenly and so much easier with a stick. If you don't do this correctly, you will have holes where you've missed details. You can also turn your device upside down carefully without having to stop scanning because the angles are the same at the top and the bottom. You don't always need an internet connection to use Scaniverse and it processes your models on the device in a few minutes. It can also enhance your scans up to five times, but it will drain your battery quicker, so it's a good idea to keep a power pack handy. The app has another capture method called Mesh Scans that save the textures of objects and other data that make editing of 3D models efficient. When the app was first released in 2020, it could only be used with a LiDAR-enabled device by Apple, but today it can be used with modern non-LiDAR smartphones. Mesh scanning displays this helpful red and white pattern that vanishes when that area is captured properly. Mesh scans have practical uses in everyday situations, like seeing how large or heavy objects will look in a place beforehand. Scaniverse has lots of ready-to-go camera video movements that save you time depending on what type of scan you're sharing. When editing on the app, you can also adjust brightness, contrast, exposure and crop scans too. There's not many scanning apps that have these features, especially free ones. Scaniverse is made by Niantic, a leading geospatial technology company you may know best for Pokemon Go and other games. By sharing your scans to their exciting global map, you become a member of this expanding community of 3D scanners. The map also awards frequent prizes for theme-based captures. Uploading to the map has the same rules as any other socials using photography or video. To respect the privacy of people, copyrighted logos, trademarks and products. If you decide that you'd like to try 3D scanning, I'd recommend you begin with a small object, sit in a comfortable place and make an imaginary dome around and over your object with Scaniverse on splat mode. It won't take you long to get terrific results, then move to larger objects and scenes when you're more confident. Make sure you have a balanced and even light source, as you want to avoid harsh shadows and sunlight being baked into your objects. This makes them easier 
to relight in 3D gaming and modelling softwares later. If you're only using the app for making cool art or music videos, then you don't need to worry about this too much. It's a lot of fun looking at three-dimensional scans, the same way you would with two-dimensional photography or video, and creating awesome 21st century memories. Even though this is a free app on a phone, to me, this is a professional tool in lots of ways, from previewing photorealistic scenes to quickly sharing 3D objects in virtual and augmented reality. I hope you'll also have fun turning 2D into 3D with Scaniverse. Thank you.